Hello, today we're having a review of a new series from Regal DS1000Z oscilloscopes. The devices of this series are characterized by four input channels. The series includes oscilloscopes with a band width of 70 and 100 MHz. There are also modifications with a built-in dual-channel waveform generator. These modifications have an S-index in its model name. For example, DS1104ZS model is a 4-channel oscilloscope with a 100 MHz bandwidth and dual-channel waveform generator. DS1104Z model is an oscilloscope with the same parameters, but without a waveform generator. The devices of this series are equipped with a 7-inch display with a resolution of 800 by 480 capable of displaying 256 tone gradations. Maximum sample rate is 1 GHz, memory depth is 12 MB. We should also mention high waveform capture rate, up to 30,000 frames per second. There is a possibility of protocol decoding, I2C, SPI, RS232, Regal Ultravision technology should be also noted. And now, have a look at the device itself. DS1000 that series scopes have the dimensions similar to other products of the same class. You may visually compare the great step forward the manufacturer made during the recent years on the market. We compared the scope to a popular 1000E model. So Z series has more functions and four input channels, the size is similar to E series. Z series scopes are slightly higher, both have almost the same width. However, Z series has smaller depth. The front panel features 7 inch display, controls, channel inputs, 1 kHz calibration square wave output. The device has flip out feet. The back panel houses a USB interface, LAN interface, power jack. Synchronization output is combined with a pass fail output. The models with S index have the outputs of the first and the second generator channel. Brief review of the features and functional characteristics of the device. There will be no difficulties for those who have some experience of working with digital oscilloscopes. All the controls are traditional and intuitively obvious. One of the peculiarities is that it has four input channels and only one area of vertical system control. It is also very simple. You choose the active channel and adjust its parameters. For example, now the active channel is channel 2. It is displayed on the screen and you may change its position and gain factor. If you need to change the parameters of channel 1, press channel 1. It is displayed as active channel and change its parameters as shown. You may also switch to channel 4, but as nothing is connected to it, there is no real signal. You may change its position and gain factor as well as disable it. That is the main specific feature. Now let's name all the features. Auto measurements. You may use a separate menu button as well as use buttons to the left from the display, which I think is easier. For example, I have a channel 1 active and I want to display peak to peak voltage. I switch to horizontal parameters and the rate of rise. You may see the parameters displayed. I need some characteristics of channel 2 displayed. For example, frequency and maximum value. I have all four parameters displayed on the screen. I may disable some of them. Enter the measure menu and disable the first characteristic and the second one. I may disable all of them. And I may disable all available parameters. Now you may see all the available 20 auto measurement parameters for each input channel. 
At the same time, I may examine the signal. Like that. Measured characteristic of all four channels may be displayed. But I won't be able to see the signal itself. Such an option is available. Next we have an acquire mode. Here I may select one of the modes of signal acquisition. Normal, peak, average. Storage menu is a saving options menu. Here I may select one of the variants of storing the signal, the screenshot or the scope settings. They may be saved into the internal memory or external drive. Cursor measurements. Auto, manual and tracking modes are available. Typical for a modern oscilloscope. Display menu. Here I may choose the data displaying mode, vector or point. Adjust brightness. Disable the grid. Disable reference axis. Enable all. Utility menu. It is a system menu for oscilloscope control. I may enable, disable the sound, interface parameters, change the language currently English and Chinese are available. However, after the firmware upgrade, the multilingual user interface will be available. Math function menu. There are plenty of operators available, more than traditional oscilloscopes usually have. Apart from add, subtract, multiply, divide, there is a fast Fourier transform option, logic functions, integration functions, differentiation functions, square root, decimal logarithm, natural logarithm, exponential function, and more. In the past, these options were unaffordable. Now you may get all these functions at a reasonable price. Trigger menu. Here we have a lot of trigger types. Edge, video, pulse widths, as well as RS-232 signal, I2C, SPI. A lot of features. Now let's pay attention to the waveform generator. Models with Z index have a built-in dual-channel waveform generator. Maximum output signal frequency 25 MHz. Press source button to enter the menu. Several signal waveforms are available. We will talk about the main forms. Enter channel 1 settings. Sign. Square. Ramp. Pulse signals. Noise. Building waveform. Several tens of options and arbitrary waveform. For instance, I will display two harmonic signal on the scope with a slight frequency deviation. And we will see the Lissajou curves. We have a sign on channel 1 and we need it on channel 2 as well. We select it and enable. We also choose a small frequency deviation. We switch to XY mode. Now we may observe a Lissajou curve. We have two harmonic signals with a slight frequency deviation. We may change the ratio, set the frequency to 3 kHz, and the waveform changes. And so does the rotation speed. 
The new series is a success and may become a bestseller on the market of low-cost oscilloscopes due to four input channels, 12 megabytes memory depth, wide signal processing capabilities and a good price quality ratio.